Everyone, watch out, man. There may or may not be another mass shooting. So the army says. As you know, the, the movie Joker's coming out October 4th. Pre-show coming out October 3rd. Uh, and the army thinks there might be a copycat from the mass shooting in 2012 in Colorado. You know, the, the James, uh, I guess his name was James Holmes. Yeah, that guy, someone's going to copy what you know, he did and uh, the mass shooting in the movie theater uh, during the Dark Knight movie. Yeah, I think the Army watches too many movies. I, I, I mean, pretty sure we're going. Everyone's going to be safe. I mean, not only that though. Everyone's people are afraid that the people are going to copy, or they're going. To, people are going to get all violent, and violence is going to uh, run a mark around all cities because of this movie. And like, it's, it's just a movie, like. Um, I'm a little sick and tired of hearing about this. Every time like, uh, they find a movie that they want to pick on, that, that you know, that could be too violent and like shut off someone, trigger somebody, and like everyone, everyone needs to realize, that, you know, people, those kind of people, is this something wrong with them? I'm doing a Magada, okay? Nothing to do with any TV shows or nothing. When, you know, I knew when I was a kid and I wanted to watch a rated R movie, I just had to spend a night at my Aunt Nancy's house. And she let me rent Robocop 2 and White Man Can't Jump. And uh, my cousin Vinny. And I turned out okay. You know, none of these movies have anything to do. Like, back to the, like, uh, the shooting that took place in the Colorado in 2012 during the Dark Knight movie. That guy, he planned it out. He knew he downloaded the movie before it came out we could, uh, and watched it uh, and then planned it. So, like, during the gun scene, it seemed like, you know, when he's shooting his guns, it just seems like, you know, it was part of the movie. And other people watching other movies, you know, wouldn't be so alarmed. So, like, he, you know, he didn't, you know, watch, you know, the movie, like, oh, man, I'm going to start killing people like the Joker. Ha, <laughs> ha. No. Okay? People who do that kind of stuff, there's just something wrong with them from the get-go. Okay? All my friends, along with me and all my friends, we all watched violent movies, even though my mom was in a lot of us, we did anyways, we all turned out all right. I remember, you know, I remember when I was eight years old, there was a kid who got in trouble because he was watching Ninja Turtles and he didn't do ninja stuff, you know, uh, his classmates. And I'm all watching that. And I'm like, oh, great. This dumbass just ruined it forever. He's trying to ruin it for everybody. Oh, great. Here we go. Like, and ever since then, they just try to target certain shows that have violence and uh, say that they're the cause of a lot of violent crimes that go on, and it's ridiculous. Sure, I you know when I was a kid, uh, I I actually went out looking for the Ninja Turtles, like when I was on six or what I whatever. I went, you know, try to explore a source so I could find the Ninja Turtles. But I didn't go out and doing ninja stuff on random people. I just wanted to try to find them. The only thing I found was a bat that scratched me and gave me, you know, I had to get rabies shots. You know, and when I was five, I watched a Wiley Coyote uh, put a fly suit on and start flying around the hill. Uh, until you ran into a cliff and became a pancake. And then I watching that, I put tied on some cardboard wings and jumped off my uh, my swings and tried to fly in and was confused why it didn't work. You know, you know, I might get those ideas from watching uh, cartoons and stuff, but I knew better to 
bonks him on the head with a hammer because that would kill him. And, you know, you can't, uh, an anvil won't flatten someone on like a pancake. And then they, the next scene, they're okay. I knew better. And I knew better not to go to my classmates and cry trap their ass. I knew better. Like, I did silly things as a kid, and I did get ideas when watching. <laughs> Excuse me. But I never occurred to me to go try to fight crime like Robocop. So I left that up to the, you know, the cops. I knew better when I was a kid. You know, I didn't let, and I know a lot of other my friends and like their friends and other people's friends and, you know, people in China and people in Mexico and people in like all the kids. Watch, you know, what we watched. Robocop, Robocop 2, and uh, we watched uh, Predator, even though we wasn't supposed to. All those movies are, like, worldwide. And, like, nowadays, you know, it's just those people who do that kind of stuff and, like, do mass shootings don't get the ideas. They're just something they might, even though they might get ideas, like, um, uh, fun watching movies, but they would have done something anyways. They are messed up in the head. It doesn't matter if they get the, where they get the idea from. It's the fact that they act on it. And it's the fact that there's something messed up with their new doodle and Amagata. You know, it's what makes them do those, you know, crazy mass shootings and whatnot. And, copy stuff and oh yeah and there's uh the one girls who kidnapped the girl uh because i watched the um uh the one legend um what is it um the slender man yeah those girls who kidnapped that one girl because that the based on the slender man legend and i thought the slender man was real yeah something messed up about those kids you know it's that you know there's nothing you could do about it but take him to a psychiatrist you know and hope for the best you know don't be going around blaming you know our you know our local blaming you know comic books and violent movies and ruin the fun for everyone else and, you know it's silly and you know Oh, and be careful, and don't forget, you know, uh, October 4th, to bring your bulletproof popcorn bags and your bulletproof soda cups, because uh, there might be a cop cat, you know, because there's another Joker movie coming out. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, don't pay attention to what the Army is trying to tell you, you know. Well, you know, we all know what to do now, especially nowadays. Everyone's got like training videos and like what to do and stuff like that happens, you know, how to, where to go hide and where to, uh, if you have to grab the attack, the person and try what you can to do. We all know about that. We don't need to be reminded. You know, I just wish everyone just needs, everyone just needs to calm down. It's just a movie. And, you know, and, that's my thought of, and this is another edition of Cool's Comic Book Basement. You know, go check out the Joker movie. I think, you know, even though it's not going to be the source material Joker movie, it's going to make a good movie. And it's going to, you know, you know, it's going to be a good time. So, all right. It's Jason Cool. This is Cool's Comic Book Basement, and I'm signing off.